Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today I'm going to be using this bag which uh, as you can see is an advertising bag from a New Zealand, I'm not sure if they're anywhere else but I know they're definitely in New Zealand, um, house paint company. I got this at the home show and I was like hmm you know what it's already got a patch prepared for me to paint on <laughs> how's it get any better than that so i'm going to paint on it but i'm not going to paint on it with their paints i don't have any of their paints handy i'm just sliding oh, but i suppose i should tell you what i'm doing just sliding this bit of metal signage in underneath so that it gives it a sturdy layer um, just so that we've got something to pick it up with although picking it up is probably not a good idea once we get started with this how does it get any better all right so our next step and this I threatened to do this on the um, live video and you guys didn't want me to so I didn't because I listened to you that doesn't mean I didn't want to do it. I still want to do it. I'm still going to do it. So I'll do it now then. <laughs> I am really sorry guys for the delay with this video. Um, I got laid up in bed with no voice and no energy and achy muscles and all those yummy things that sometimes your body decides to throw at you so that it can clear out something or other that's going on inside. So I'm just going to put some tins down just to lift this up so I can get my fingers underneath to move it later. So what am I actually going to do with this? Quite a few of you discovered my channel through a video where I did dips. And so I was thinking, you know what, this would be an ideal paint one to do a dip on. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I've tried all sorts of dips since then, but I haven't actually done another dip the same as the one I did. And I don't even know if I can do another dip the same as the one I did. So let's get this paint out and have a look how thick it is. It's running a bit thick. I think personally so let's add a bit more water this is this is really funny I'm painting over the Reeves advertising with <laughs> PGG paint <laughs> um, this is spring indoor outdoor semi-gloss acrylic from Bunnings it is the cheapest house paint I have found on the market in New Zealand um, it's like $45 for a 10 litre pail or something insanely ridiculous like that. Uh, 10 litres is just under 3 gallons. Uh, for those of you in America, I think, it's like 3.8 uh, is a gallon. Um, 3.8 litres is a gallon. So... 7.6 yeah just under three gallons so that's a bit runnier awesome so what colors should we do we did a real multi multi colored pour last time and I do have a big range of colors um, first color I'm going to be using is this purple this is a homemade purple again I've been sitting for a while I've been sick so it's thickened up um, it's made b with cerulean blue and crimson red other than the crimson red all my colors are yeah what was that that was a big chunk. Where'd it go? No. Big chunks are not allowed. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Uh, 
Um, while I'm hunting the chunk, found it. Yahoo! Where's my chunk pop? There it is, found it. Um, all of my colours are Reeves Fine Artist Acrylic, uh, except for the Crimson. Crimson Red is from Reno Art. This is an Australian company. I haven't found it on Amazon, so I can't send you a link to it. Uh, I really don't advise buying the Reeves acrylics on Amazon because they are super expensive. Um, so, yeah. Go to a shop. Find them in a shop. They should... Here in New Zealand, at least, I pay $6.50 for a 75ml tube of those. Um, and they're like $9.50 US on Amazon. So that is... If it was the other way around, if we paid $9.50 in New Zealand and that was $6.50 in the US, that would be about right for, <laughs> for the exchange rate. But it's not right. It is so not right. Um, okay. What else have I got with silicon in it? I've got that purple. That's got silicon in it. This Viridian Hue has got silicon in it. And uh, that's running off nicely. This is... ultramarine and that one's super runny it's too runny almost who knows what is too runny for a dip that's always a good question isn't it we all have our points of view about what is too runny for a um wow that vermilion orange is runny as well but we all have our own points of view about what is too runny for acrylic pouring and oh I found my red that tin had two leads on it uh, personally that's a little bit too thick but that orange is definitely too runny but that's okay so all of these have got silicon in them and I'm just going to stick to the five colours this time. I think I had like 12 colours in that other one. And it was just absolutely amazingly cool. But that's okay. We're doing... So we're doing five colours. Purple, yellow, green, blue and orange. And I've got the silicon in those paints this time. Rather than flicking the silicon onto the white. So... Let's get some white onto here. Now, really important for me in this pour, whether it's relevant to you or not, is totally different, is to actually cover all of those white patches that Rosines have already got on there. Why? Because this is a different white. It dries slightly different color and I don't want that coming through looking hideous so what my target is is I need to have enough paint on here to do a single dip and then to leave this one looking fabulous and then I can wander around town with it How's it get any better than that? So to make sure that I get this one fully loaded, I'm going to grab a paintbrush and just dip it in my paint and just go through and not so much on the top because I'm going to be dipping that into the paint 
my important piece is to make sure that the sides have some paint on them personally I don't like areas of canvas that are just what came out of the shop that's my own personal point of view if you like it awesome don't bother painting it that's no problem at all um, uh, I'm definitely going to have stuff in the middle so I'm not going to be too worried about what's in the middle I am going to be very aware of what's going on on the edges just make sure we've got some paint all over the canvas once we've finished without having to fiddle with it there we go let's just okay so I'm going to pop that down there Ah, oh, I just got paint on my sign. That's terrible. And that's just dribble. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Dribble, 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 too. Oh, crikey me. Got a pile of, um, building materials outside and I think the cat just <laughs> was playing on it and it collapsed underneath it um, either that or a rabbit or a rat or a, some other animal that shouldn't be playing in my yard Alright, so right now it just looks like a dribble painting, and hey, if you do a dribble painting and you love it, leave it to dry. Enjoy it. There is no right or wrong here, guys. But I'm, my target here is to do a dip. And my dip is going that way. So, I'm going to push down and just let it smoosh smooshy mooshy can you see now why we've got the metal on the inside of the bag are we ready for the big reveal three two one Whoa, oh i love them i love them you've got this one which is on the canvas and then you got that one, which is on the bag. They look so cool. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple of tins to sit this one on. Oops. Oh, they look awesome. Imagine if that was on two canvases and you peeled them apart and you had that and you'd be like, yay, and you could just leave them just like that and paste and hang them. I think somebody's learning to fly a plane out there today. Sorry about the plane noises. Okay. We already have quite a few cells, and I know there's people out there going, leave it alone, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. Leave it alone. I'm just going to sort of play with these edges and get rid of those lines. See how we've got where I pressed that canvas down? I'll grab some of this and just make it look like I did it on purpose. <laughs> just like that. Just like that, love. But I am going to torture. I'm sorry. 
I know there's a lot of cells already, but when you do the style, torching it at least just to pop the bubbles is a really good idea. So for those of you that are new to acrylic pouring and have never seen this before, this is an air empty butane flamethrower. A bit like what you would use to caramelize the top of a creme brulee in the kitchen. Okay. As I say, that one's nearly out of gas. Let's see if we can get anything out of this one. Yeah, it's better. These ones that I'm using, I buy from our coin save shops here in Rotorua. They're about $5. Um, and they're refillable. You can grab a butane refill canister and refill them. So there we have it. What I'm not particularly excited about is how much white I'm seeing. Oh, sorry, how much black I'm seeing in there. So I've just moistened my finger with some white paint. You know what I think that is? I think that is where, because the printing that Rosine's put onto this bag um, was just straight white. And so where the lettering was or where any color was missing is just this absorbent material. So the paint's just going into the absorbent bit and the areas that have been pre-printed are not absorbing but that's okay that looks cool and that looks cool let me get you down for a closer look and then we will leave them to dry and i'll come back and show you what they look like all right so let's go down over here first it looks a bit of a mess actually it would be a lot cooler if it was that way on the bag but it's not. <laughs> it's that way. That's okay. I still like it. It's got some funky bits. I'm intrigued to see how it dries. See, there's the material showing through already there again. It's busy. It's fun. It's funky. Remind me next time to peel it so that the peel starts at the top and comes down. Does that make sense? Now, because we've got a flat canvas over here, this one is a lot more conforming to its reality. Look at this. Look at the way that has merged. That's so pretty. Oh, look. It looks like a penguin. Uh, how do I need to hold this so you guys get to see? Um, that way. Look. It's like a red penguin. <laughs> oh, and it's even... There's a little bubby one around, down in front of it. <laughs> You've got mummy penguin, or daddy penguin, and then little bubby penguin. Hehe, <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, I like that area there. That is pretty. I really like this, this cell here. Okay guys, as this plane goes over one more time, <laughs> I'm going to leave these to dry and come back and show you once they're dry. So stay there, I'll be right back in three, two, one. Alright, so they are dry. This one is looking fantastic and vibrant and yummy and 
I like it. I like it a lot. It's very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Um, yes. Yes. Very keen to make this one into something digitally. Uh, probably some sort of material or... Oh, that would be a very busy material though, wouldn't it? Hmm. I wonder what I could create with that. Uh, those of you that weren't around when I did my material video, if you go into my channel, just by clicking my channel name, and then along the top there's a search button, and you can, if you put in spoon flower, you'll see what I mean by making material. Um, or type of material, whichever way you want to do it. Uh, but that's very cool. I like it. I like it. Anyone else like it? Anyone else want to have that in their home? Well, let me know. This, on the other hand, guess what? <laughs> that material is absorbent when it doesn't have printing on it. Check this out. You can almost read what that writing said. Where it's just absorbed all that paint. Look, even on the little fine writing down the bottom. <laughs> How funny is that? But you know what, it definitely is a lot less of an advertising campaign. Um, I wonder what you could seal this material with. You could probably use gesso on it. Maybe I'll experiment on the other side <laughs> with some gesso. Um, perhaps some black gesso just to give it a seal over. Um, Hmm, so not so excited about the result of this one, but um, definitely has potential. I will experiment with gessoing, um, or even, you know, even here where this was just straight white paint. So you can see dynamically where the edge of the printing was and where my paint came over the edges. Um, so even just putting a blob of paint on there to see whether that has sealed it enough. Just a coat of one of our paints first. Let it dry and then paint over it. See what that does. Uh, definitely lots of options. Because if we have a look on the inside, you can see where the paint seeped through. And so... Around this edge here, where it's basically black, it's all the way through painted. So that, I think, is probably now paintable. You could probably do a second coat. Maybe I'll add that to the exploration video and hopefully we'll come up with some results. If you've got any ideas, if you've ever painted this stuff before and you've got something you can share with everyone, please put that in the comments. And, um, yummy, I like that. I like that a lot. So, what else is possible? How much more fun can we have with pouring and dipping and playing? So, my dears, I adore you. Come join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. Um, we are a group of... People who love acrylic pouring, who are sharing our knowledge, sharing our creations, inspiring each other. And um, what else is possible? How much fun can we all have, not only in our painting, but also in our pouring. Um, sorry, in our, in our everyday life. And um, I'm going to be doing a live sometime in the next 10 days. Probably on a weekend, but probably not this weekend. Um, so if you're interested in joining me live, giving me hints and tips about what I should do, colours I should use, style I should use, what I should paint on. Um, if you sign up here, I will email you 24 hours before I go live so that you don't have to rely on YouTube telling you. And um, the other 
really really cool thing is that um, I am planning to do a New Zealand time evening pour for the next one uh, so that you guys over in Europe can wake up come on and see me in the morning I can't do it any earlier than I have been doing it because I teach a class at 7.30 New Zealand time every morning. Although, what is it today? Friday the 26th. Hmm. Monday morning I could do it earlier because I don't, I don't do it. I'm going to toss it up. So sign up on this URL to um, find out when that's going to be this link is in the description and clickable so that makes it easier for you guys so is the link to the facebook group and so is the link to my um mickey art facebook uh where you can donate to me via paypal and hey as i said if there's any of my paintings that don't already have sold written in the title that you go i would love to own that message me contact me Come play. What else is possible? I adore you and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.